Hi, I'm Belinda Carley and today I'm going to take you through some exciting developments in sweatproof makeup. Now this sort of makeup is so revolutionary because it enables you to go from day to night, from exercise to normal routines. You can take selfies while you're sweating. You can even swim in this makeup and I'll show you that later in this video. First things I want to go through is show you some liquid foundations. I'm going to start by showing you some liquid foundations. I'm just applying these now. And then I'm going to show you how they perform in wash off tests. Now one thing I want to point out with these foundations, they are water based foundations. So they are oil and water formulations. Obviously when you have oil or silicon as your continuous phase, you will get some inherent waterproofing ability, but these are water based products so they would normally wash off extremely easily. I'm going to show you some really cool effects that extend on the liquid foundation base and this is using some really glam glitter colours. So I've applied these in various depths of colour to my forearm so again I'm going to let these dry and then I'm going to show you some sweat and rinse off tests. Now the point of dramatic bold colour like this would be to provide a instant bronzing look for Friday or Saturday night if I was to go out for example uh, and the, the key point of these particular products is that if I was at a club dancing they simply will not sweat off. Next, let's take a look at some powdered products. I'm going to show you the same principles as they apply for foundation, for blush or bronzing products, and eyeshadows. Let's have a look at how these will perform under sweat conditions. You'll see that even though the colours are wet, the water's simply just dripping straight back off. Now what these uh, products all have in common is they have a very high magnesium stearate or zinc stearate base. This is a really important feature to create waterproof colour. Now let's take a look at how this works in rinse off tests. Let's take a look at some eyeliners and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to apply two water-based products. Again I'm using water-based products simply because it challenges the waterproofing agent more. Again if I have a formula that has an oil continuous phase it will have some inherent waterproofing properties because of the oil base. Water-based products by comparison are extremely easy to wash off. Now one of the great things about makeup when formulated with an appropriate film former is that it is still easy to wash off when you have good makeup remover. So don't be afraid simply because you're seeing how well these products perform under different tests when they're just exposed to water and sweat, you can still remove them quite easily when using a proper makeup cleanser. Now let's take a look at mascaras. Now I'm going to be using a few different bases and applying a small amount of mascara to the hairs on my forearm so that we can provide comparison tests. 
And again, these are all water-based products. Oil-based products have some inherent water resistance just because of the oil base. So I am challenging the film forming and waterproofing agents by using them in a water-based product. Finally, there's nothing like bold lip colour to really go a long way with impressions. So let's take a look at how our waterproof principles can apply to lip products. Now what I have here is I've applied four different products with four different uh, film forming waterproofing materials and a product here to use as a standard uh, that doesn't contain any waterproofing agent. Now I've done this because all of the other formulas have been water-based, but of course lip glosses are oil-based products and just because they're oil-based means that they will have some water resistance. Um, whereas the other products being all water continuous phase, they would be inherently very easy to wash off except for the film formers used. So I'm using this one here as a base without the film forming waterproofing agent in there so that you can compare performance from the film forming agents compared to a product without it, even though they're all completely oil-based. Let's have a look at how they perform in spray tests. It's not too surprising since lipsticks and lip glosses are oil based products. But let's have a look at how they perform under rinse off tests. What we can see is that these two in particular haven't performed so well. These two film forming products have performed exceptionally well and you can even see a lot of balling up on these two products in particular. And this was our benchmark comparison, this one here. It has spread but it has still performed relatively well and that's simply because the product is an oil base. A bit further rinsing, you can see now our base is starting to wear away. These two have almost worn away completely. These two here have performed exceptionally well. This one in particular would have to be the favourite. For truly amazing makeup looks that you can wear when exercising, when you can wear from day to night, and it just stays on, including some sweat tests. For colour you can swim in. And it simply doesn't move.